Hello. Today, let's review how to properly use the twist lock throttle lever on your Smith SPS 10. Here is some background. The twist lock is an upgrade to the standard thumb push lever that would not allow the engine to operate at full power, since there was no locking mechanism to hold the spring tension throttle in place. As a result, it required constant adjustment as the cable stretched. The twist lock throttle assembly, when properly used, will extend the spring action to allow the operator to run the engine at any speed, including full power. Here on the Smith SPS 8, we have the old style throttle assembly. How this works is the operator pushes it forward to the fixed or open position. Closed. Open. The problem with this is, with use, the cable will begin to stretch, requiring tightening of these screws to keep the cable secure in order to run the machine at full throttle. On the SPS 10, we use the twist lock throttle control. In this position, it's locked, and here, it's unlocked. Locked. Unlocked. Locked. Do not over tighten. Once the throttle is unlocked and loose, pull it up. Then tighten. Unlock. Pull up. Lock. Pulling up increases the throttle. Pushing down turns the machine off. This is plastic, so by making it too tight, it could result in breaking the handle. So do not over tighten and do not push down without unlocking it. By following these simple procedures, the throttle lever should work just fine. But remember that missing a step could possibly cause breakage. At Smith, we are always looking at ways to improve our products. But in the meantime, this simple tip should allow for many hours of continuous, reliable use of your Smith SPS 10 machine. Please contact us with your questions and suggestions by calling this number or email us at the address on your screen. Thank you for joining us and look out for the next installment of How to Smith.